the Lima Floral uh, is obviously the sister, I would say, almost uh, of the Lima London. The food is almost very similar to what we have in, in, in Lima. So oh, we are working quite hard at the moment trying to develop certain, certain dishes, looking into the market, looking, you know, how the customers perceive our food in this side of Covent Garden. Obviously, the flavors of Peru are 100% there, they're all the same. Just looking, look into how we will actually provide or develop our dishes to a, a different, uh, probably, customers. A number of covers, we can do actually quite a lot here. Um, Friday, Saturday, Thursday especially, it's quite busy. It's definitely very busy. We can do, in a day, so far, I've seen it around 270 covers which is very good and very interesting for us. Obviously, the place is bigger. The atmosphere, I would say, maybe is a bit lighter, maybe newer, I would say, somehow. And that reason, and also we have a piqueo bar, which translated into Spanish sort of tapas. So the people can just come down, have a drink, have a pisco sour, have a, a quick snack, a quick bite, and go, basically. So we have, at the moment, uh, in Florida, around 16 chefs. Uh, so there are chefs that I brought it from Lima, the original Lima. We brought it some of them around four or five. The rest is a team that I, you know, people that I met in, in the past, people that were looking for a job or people that had some connections and they are working with me at the moment. The ingredients, you know, the, the idea of the menu and I'm still, you know, believing on that is obviously we have a fantastic uh, uh, ingredients around Europe and we have also fantastic suppliers. And we get, you know, the most, uh, probably 20% of Peruvian ingredients, the rest is all European. One Harvest uh, has been working with us for almost two years. I think the connection has is, is improved quite a lot. And I think they, they are very sort of eager to find me new products. And, you know, when I ask them, for example, uh, find me the Oca. Oca is a tuba from Peru, I will use it today. You can eat it raw, you can eat it cooked, it's, it's almost like a potato. It's sweet, it's sour. Uh, then I have a sweet root also from the Amazon, it's called Yacon. For some reason, somehow, they, they found it for me and they got it for me. and makes me very happy. So I, I, I think the most, the most important part you know, of, uh, of all of that is also my job, really, is to have a very good connection with everybody, with the suppliers, and having a good supplier that is eager for me to find the product, that's the key for me, I think, definitely. I will recommend One Harvest to everyone, you know, to any chef that's out there. Uh, they have amazing product, definitely. Uh, you know, chocolate, for example. They can, you can get a, you can source Peruvian chocolate by them. And, and meat and, 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 you know, dairy and everything, really. Yes. So, it's great. Well, you know, so having the second restaurant now in London, I think the most important thing is to make the two things work properly. I think they are, definitely they are working properly. We are moving in the right direction. Then there are plans definitely for, for, for the third one, things are happening. Uh, I cannot disclose at the moment somehow, but yes. Um, and obviously we need to keep it going, you know, the momentum and uh, hopefully 2015 we will see, definitely. Oh,